What do you mean you won't say? You're flaming well, well. Candice, that won't work unless Bolton decides to help of his own accord. Anything he says is useless. So if you want my Denzel stays locked up? He's your mate. Make him see. Rose, we can only go with what we've got. Oh, Paul, I've spoken with your guardian and she says it's fine for me to take you to see Denzel's lawyer. Yeah, and you can take that great lump with you as well. Let him see what a coward he is. I'm not. He used to be so proud of you. Yeah, then at least the lawyer can see we're trying. Uh, Rose, I'll, I'll let you know what happens. No, I need a lift. I need to see Denzel. Right. Well, is Denzel coming home or not, then? I've just got to hope, yeah? Hey, come here. Well, you best get back. Go on. I almost don't want to get my hopes up. Worst thing is I knew. How do you mean? In my gut. That first day I asked Den what Earl was up to. But I was thinking about something else, otherwise I'd have made him say. Thinking about what? Call me. longer den there's some nice people trying to get you out you wait and see baby i swear it's true miss mason from the school she'll get you home den and things will be better then <laughs> um, boys this is miss brow she's denzel's solicitor which one's paul Thanks for coming in. There are a couple of things I need to warn you about. First, when you sign your affidavit, you will be admitting withholding evidence. Second, you will be expected to explain what you say in front of a court. Unless they're persuaded that you were intimidated by Earl, you could face charges yourself. Still willing to proceed? Perhaps you could have a word. Yes, of course. What is it with you, Bolton? Hmm? Haven't you got enough people putting themselves on the line here? You and I made a deal, do you remember? I remember. You do your best and I support you. So why are you throwing that back in my face? And how could I have got you so wrong? What I saw in you was someone who was worth going out on a limb for, not someone who would leave an 11-year-old child scared and in a place he shouldn't be. If I knew how little you cared about anyone else, I'm not sure that I would have backed you. Your mum, Denzel, Paul, me. How many more people are you going to let down here, Bolton? What about yourself? Tell her. Tell me what? Bolton, she's going to find out that we kept quiet and now Maxine is dead. Clarkson says you're leaving. Is that because of this? What Earl did? Partly. It's not your fault. Then show me that I can be right about something. I'm sure I was right to believe in you. One condition. If I speak, then you stay. What? Well, it weren't your fault. I never fessed up because I was scared. It was because I was scared of what Earl would do to me. So. If I speak, then you stay. Deal? <laughs> this morning I was so happy, but now... What you've done... I despise you. Sad little no-one without a clue. 
OK, stop it. She's going to cry if you don't shut up. Do you want to cry, miss? Do you want to go home to your mum, tell her what a bad day at school you've had? 